RAG agents are very powerful. That is until they start responding with information that's either completely out of date or based on an entirely wrong category of information. To get around this, I've equipped agents with advanced metadata filters and this works with both Suvabase and Pinecone. When the agent receives a message, this sub workflow is called and this node dynamically creates a sophisticated filter based on that query. And I think you'll be surprised at just how specific these filters can get. During the ingestion phase in your RAG pipeline, you load up your data, so these could be documents, web pages, and lots more, and you break those up into chunks. We then use an embedding model to create vectors and store these within a vector database. But we can further enrich these chunks by using an AI model to extract relevant metadata based on those documents. Then we'll store those in the vector database along with the chunks. Within our vector database in Superbase, for example, if you go to the metadata field, you can see all of those fields that were populated. And the same also applies to Pinecone. In Superbase, I've created a separate table where we can dynamically add in as many metadata fields along with their allowed values from here. These will then get automatically picked up and injected into the prompts in the RAG template. These features do not come out of the box within N8N. And for Superbase, I've created a separate database function that's able to handle all of the filtering logic for this. With Pinecone, you can create complex filters on the fly, but in order to integrate with N8N, I've used a HTTP request as opposed to the standard built-in N8N node for this. If you want to watch the full video tutorial, then check out the link below.